Hey, what's going on everybody? This is AJ and I am coming to you with another video just to give you an update. Um, trigger warning, I'm going to be talking about bottom surgery and everything that is involved with it. So, I had my bottom surgery yesterday. Uh, I had a matorioplasty. I also had an oophorectomy. Um, oophorectomy is just removal of ovaries. Um, so I had that done first, and then uh, I had the matorioplasty, which was um, a release, the clitoral release, um, urethral lengthening, uh, scleroplasty. And uh, everything went well. I uh, saw my doctor today. Uh, everything went extremely well. He said, um, you know, um, you know, there were no complications. He showed me a picture that he took afterward of uh, the final result, and it looks really good. Um, I'm excited. Uh, I actually woke up after surgery and feeling of euphoria that I had was just indescribable and uh, I'm just really happy. Um, last night was kind of rough um, because uh, they, they gave me a lot of medications. They were giving me a lot of medications through the night and one of the medications they gave me was Colace. And if you don't know what Colace is, um, Colace is a stool softener. So um, it messed with my stomach last night and I had severe stomach pains all through the night and um, you know after surgery usually I get up to walk just to walk around because during surgery of course they pump air and gas in your abdomen um, which causes gas so I didn't get to walk yesterday so all of that air built up and uh, I was extremely gassy through the night and it hurt really bad. Um, they even gave me um, medicine for the pain and it didn't work. Um, but I was able to get up and walk around today um, and move around a little bit. And it broke up some of the, the, the gassiness, so I feel a lot better. Um, but that was like the, the, the only discomfort that I had so far. Um, I saw my doctor today and he said depending on how I feel I could probably leave the hospital and go home tomorrow. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But everything went fine. Um, I, I'm just really, really, really happy. So the, the surgery took about six hours I, I want to say. Um, when I got in the uh, surgical suite and laid down, you know, I spoke to the anesthesiologist and all the other doctors and nurses that were there. So I had two surgeons. Um, I had one surgeon whose name was Dr. Tran, who did the oophorectomy and the vaginectomy. So the vaginectomy is the closing of the front hole. And um, she removed the ovaries first, and then she did the vaginectomy. Um, so she was in there first. My other surgeon wasn't there yet um, because he just would have been sitting around waiting for her. So she said that she would, you know, contact him when she was almost done, so he could come down and um, do the metoidioplasty. So I remember her basically saying hey you know do you do you want to listen to music and i said yes and she said what do you want to play i said put on prince you know and she put on prince um and uh the song came on and i remember tapping my foot and then that was it after that i woke i woke up and i'm like i looked at the clock and it was like 4 30 and i'm like i just was listening to Prince, you know, and it was like eight o'clock in the morning, but you know, 
that's how it goes but everything went extremely well i am very very happy um from the picture that my surgeon showed me of of the metoidioplasty it looks great I'm, I'm really happy with it um so i'm i'm i had the metoidioplasty yesterday and i'm going to see um the second surgeon in November for my MLD phalloplasty. Um, you know, with my surgeon, we decided that it was better for me to have the metoidioplasty first so that everything can be hooked up um, the way it's supposed to for the phalloplasty. Um, and I like that plan of action, so that's what we're doing. Um, I should probably have the first stage of my phalloplasty in February, but I'm going to see the surgeon um, because he wants to see the metoidioplasty. I'm going to see him in November. Um, you know, uh, my surgeons, so the surgeon who did my oophorectomy and vaginectomy, her name is Dr. Ann Tran, Dr. Tran out of Mount Sinai. Uh, I'm in New York City, so. Um, and then the doctor who did my metoidioplasty uh, is Dr. Rajveer Pirowit. And um, the doctor who will be doing my phalloplasty is Dr. Miroslav uh, Georgievich. Uh, he's out of Serbia, I believe, but he comes to Mount Sinai every quarter, every three months to uh, see patients and to do surgeries. So I saw him in May when he came. He's going to be here again in August, but I don't see him until November because he, I have to heal completely in order for him to see me. Um, so I made a, uh, an appointment with him for November, and then he said um, in February is when he'll put me on the schedule for my MLD phalloplasty. So MLD phalloplasty is um, for taking, the donor site will be on my back, um, on the lats, on my latissimus dorsi. Um, so that way it's just an incision. I won't need a skin graft. I won't need to have electrolysis. Um, and I chose that because of what I do I'm an actor and an entertainer, so I didn't want to have uh, RFF or ALT um, because of the scars. So uh, MLD was the best choice for me, and he's uh, one of the main people who does MLD phalloplasty. So um, in meeting him, I, I was really pleased. Um, you know, we talked, and I, I, I. I'm really happy that uh, he's going to be doing my phalloplasty, but I'm kind of rambling because uh, I'm on a lot of medication. They they come in every so often to do to put different medications in my IV. I do know every six hours they give me painkillers, um, and then in between that, I I take Tylenol and. Um, they do some other medications, but, um, so if I'm rambling, that's, that's the reason. And I'm sleepy, uh, but I did want to give you all an update. I said I would, <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I had my metoidioplasty yesterday, and I'm really happy, very, very happy, so, um, I'm going to get some rest. I just wanted to do this video to let you all know um, how I'm doing um, you know like I said last night was like really rough because of the stomach ache and the gas but everything else is fine it, it's hard uh, to lay in certain positions um, the way I am now kind of sitting it's it's okay um, but sometimes it does hurt to sit like if I'm sitting up I can't do it for a long period of time but I know it's gonna get better um, I got up to walk around today just across the room and then I came back to the bed and it wasn't bad I sat in the chair it wasn't bad 
Um, so um, the healing begins, and I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah, that's my update. And uh, I hope this helps somebody. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I will answer them in a video, but I had my latorioplasty, and I am really happy. So, yeah, um, I'll get back with you all with another video to take you on my journey of healing. Um, and um, until then, be good. If you can't be good, be good at it. Um, but I want you to do me a favor. I want you to like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell that would help me out a great deal so um yeah i am tired i'm going to sleep you can probably hear it in my voice um and see it on my face but i just wanted to give you all an update metodioplasty done it's done um so yeah um i'll see you all later in another video Thanks for watching, and thank you for following me on my journey. AJ out.